Hey Hooper, it's Deanne Love here. Welcome to day 18 of your 30 days in flow. Every day you get a new uh, flow session, which is a series of hoop tricks, but there are so many variations that each day it's entirely new and different and amazing. And if you head over to learn.hooplovers.tv playlist prompts, inspiration every day on top of this tutorial. So today's four tricks are to do a hand spin, a can-can, a folding, and then a weave. Okay, so maybe you know those four tricks. Let's see if we can put some variations into it. I'm going to do a horizontal hand spin. You could be doing a vertical hand spin. For this horizontal hand spin, I uh, have it on my right hand and I'm spinning around to the left. So that tells me that I want to intuitively go into, and a can-can is my second move, and that is where I pass the hoop under my leg. Now I could pass under the outside or I could pass under the inside. And for me, not only does it heighten body intelligence and balance, but I like to do things often, I like to mix it up, make it really diverse, but try to do things where I'm crossing across my body because that makes us supreme clever beings. <laughs> so I intuitively want to cross under the opposite side leg. So that means right hand spin, bend in the elbow, thumb is out, fingers are up, and then when I go to pass it under, I'm going to grab my hoop and take my wrist up, wrap my hands around, and then I can seamlessly pass, hopefully. So I've got to shift all of the weight into my right leg and then seamlessly pass ugh, to my other hand. So. Now, I love to go with the momentum of the hoop. So where that takes me, and I feel like we've spoken about this in other um, tutorials in the 30 days, but if I just go hand spin, my hoop has momentum, and then I have to stop it for a minute. And then if I just completely stop here, then for me, it's kind of cutting off that natural spiral momentum. So I am going to continue to let the hoop unwind. Does that make sense? So spin, stop. But for me, spin and move and continue to pass at the back and now I can fold. Your variation, any way that you like. So for me, I'm going to trace Go with the hoops flow. For me, that's to the left. Right hand passes to left hand passes behind the back. And now my hoop is kind of out, just flailing around, having a great time. I'm going to fold it in. So my hoop is out in my right hand. Yours might be in your left. And what I'm going to do is fold it over the top of like my forearm. So I went from, it just, out there doing its thing, going to fold over the top. As And if my arm's out to my side, it's like I'm folding it over and back. But then what I want to do is bend my elbow and bring my inner forearm into my belly. So it's like I'm kind of cradling it. So this also brings a sense of diversity because, or like interest and flair to your hooping because you're going from that expansion like we've been up, we've been down, we've been under, we've been around, we've gone in the spiral, and now we bring it in tight. And then from this point here, I like to have my pointer finger resting underneath, my hoop is hanging down, and then I'm going to point to the sky. And this is really just a flourish, it's a flare, because then I am going to bring it down to spin, and it's like a transition so I can then go into a weave. I break that bit down. After I pass behind my back, I'm going to fold and bring it in. Then I extend out. You don't have to go all the way to the sky. You can extend to the side. You don't even have to. You can just change. It's just a grip change here. So to the top, and then I'm going to draw a line down the side. And when I get to about like my rib height, I want to let go of the hoop and spin it on my hand. You can spin for as long as you like, and then we need to go into a weave. So 
So I'm choosing to do a backwards weave. You could do a forwards weave. You can do a side weave. You can do a break and weave up high, down low, your choice. Okay, so spin, pass under, and then behind, fold, reposition, weave. Hand spin, balance, pass under and back, fold in, extension, weave. Also notice that I'm starting to move around my space. I'm really starting to become conscious of the space that I am taking up, the space that is in between me and my hoop, the space that is inside of me. And so it no longer becomes a whole bunch of tricks that we're putting together, but we're having this incredible heightened spatial awareness. If you have <laughs> valuables around you and things that you're going to crash into, your spatial awareness, it's already on point. You are like, I don't want to break that, all of it. So we're above the head, we're under the leg, we're behind the back, we're into the belly, we're reaching for the sky, we're turning, we're carving up, releasing all obstacles, taking up space. How much space do you dare to take up? Let's play. to take up all the space that you need, trusting yourself, deepening your practice. Head over to learn.hooploves.tv to get all of the goodness and the extras. And I'll see you tomorrow. Big hoop love. Mwah.